If you're working with a new client, it's vital that you add them to Bullhorn as a new company. To add a company, you simply go to the Fast Add feature and click on Company. Then you'll need to populate the, the fields required to add a new company to the system. The more accurate and detailed the information that you input now will make it much easier for you when you go on to add contacts, jobs, and start making placements with this company. Key areas of importance to input are the name of the company, the status of the company, the source of how you found out about the company or started working with them, the industry that they operate in, their address, the key contact information. This is also where you can add in the permanent and contract fee terms that we have arranged with the company if we have so. It is also when you create a company record that you assign the company to the parent company record if you're working for a business that's part of a wider group. It's vital for us as a business to be able to record and track the money that we've made with an entire company's group. For example, we work with the London Stock Exchange Group, but underneath that, we also work with LSE, FTSE, BSL, and LCH. Each of these should be listed as separate companies on Bullhorn, but you need to use this parent company field to ensure you link them to the wider company group. Once you've populated all of these fields, all you simply need to do is scroll to the bottom and click Save. Once you've saved a company record, the next step will be adding a contact underneath this company. This could be a hiring manager or HR contact that you're doing business with. To add a contact, simply go to select an action in the top right hand corner and click add contact. As you'll see, a lot of the company information has passed through into the contact record, meaning that you've got very little extra that you need to type in. Just make sure you complete all the mandatory fields and any other additional information that you have on the contact that will be useful for you or another consultant later on. Here you can add in additional information, such as the last contact meeting that you had with them. And also, it gives you the option at the bottom of the form to add this contact to a distribution list. Distribution lists are where you can organise the contacts that you would have to send out speculative CVs. For more information on this, there will be a video later on. Once you've completed all the relevant information, you just need to click Save, and then you've created a new company and contact onto the system.